It had to come from somewhere. It had to. Everything has a beginning. Everything has its origins. But where it all began, where it came from, how did it happen? Tonight, I'm going to find out. Strap yourselves in with a me you know, metaphorical, metaphorical seatbelt, because it's going to be a wild ride. Tonight, we are going to find the origins of Review Bra. Welcome. The greatest mystery of all time. The single biggest question in the 21st century. You've heard the news. You've seen the discussions. You've probably read one of the 1,400 books that have been authored. Trying to tackle this issue, it was an evolution. It was a metamorphosis. A lot of people don't know that. The report of the week. Report of the week. Review lad. Review bra. Review bra. Review dude. And review bra. Why did that happen? How did that happen? Where? When? What's going on? Why am I even here right now? I have those answers for you. And I'm going to give you that knowledge, that information. And in doing so, I'm risking everything. But I think it's for the greater good. I do. And before anything else, over the years, I've been referred to as many things, even to this day, and, you know, predominantly, it's review bra. But on occasion, you'll get some other things that'll get thrown in here and there, and I want to cover a few of the, probably the most well-known, uh, whatever you want to call it, just things uh, I've been referred to as, and uh, perhaps we'll just be able to clear up a little bit of confusion so then we can get to the real important answers. First, I want to cover the topic of baby bra. There, there he is, baby bra. That was where it all began. That was the, the start. That was the beginning. That was the, the real, you know, it's not review bra. It was baby bra. First suit, right there. And I was uncomfortable. I was really scratchy at first, but then I kind of got used to it. And you can see right there, started getting more comfortable. Uh, my eyes, they just started getting gigantic. I mean, that was, that was a crazy time. And I started going with the pompadour and everything. I mean, th those were the days right there. Then you have a few people. Review bra. That's another thing that, that was referred to me. Just listening to this man's voice is, or, uh, is great. Thank you, review bra. And then it looks like there's uh, two dots and then a... Uh, a number, it's like a number three, so you have that there. The review bra. That was another one that you'll see from time to time. Review bra. It's one of those crazy things right there. You can see the suit, you know, it's massive. I mean, that is the only way to describe it. Bra. Why does he look? While he is living in a fun arbol house, and then it's followed by at least a dozen and a half squares. I I mean I don't even know the end. I don't even know where to to begin with that one. We're just gonna go with it, all right? You know, the squares and the fun the fun arbol and all that. So good enough. More pepperonis. More pepperonis. Surprised I am not enjoy your 2019 review, dude. Looks great. Thanks, Ryan. That actually was my, my name for a, for a short time. Sometimes people would even be a bit confused when it came down to what I was even referred to. And it would be asked as a question. Some people would be unsure. And they would say, are you, are you this? Are, are you that? You you remind me of, you know, whoever or whatever. Are you a hand model? That's that's a really weird name. I've never really heard that one before. I don't know anyone who, who goes by that name, to be quite honest. Uh, but if he meant 
a hand model. I'm not. Fingernail model. Yes, indeed. But not a hand model. No, fingernails only. No, uh, no hands. I, you know, I, I, I don't go into that type of, of territory. But I will uh, delve into the, the occasional fingernail modeling business. Take a effin' bite already, you salamander-looking... And then that's followed by a few of the, uh, the smiley faces with the tears dripping, and then a square in between them. You know, he's actually right. I do kind of look like a salamander. Let me show you. Let me, let me get this up. I would say that the resemblance is... it is uncanny. No, he's right there. There was there there was a time when you, know, you could easily see the the comparison there. You got that right. This guy is such a pencil necked little. I swear, if I see him, I'm going to punch him in the sucker. Punch him in. The... I where I guess I guess he means the mouth. That's an odd. That that's actually the oddest way I've I've ever seen that referred to. But I guess that's what he was referring to there. Uh, but you can see, that was another name that some people called me, a pencil-necked little, you know, you know what. Then it eventually, because I made the change over to pens, you can see I always go put two pens in my shirt pocket. Uh, then it changed over to double-penned-necked little expletive. Uh, so that was just the early, early example. There isn't too much from the pen-neck days. Uh, though there are a few things, if you really kind of dig around and, and really go through the archives, you'll be able to find it. Some people tried to take a guess at my name, at, at what I was referred to. In this intermediary period, as I said, anything goes. They tried to guess it for me. This is dumbass. That was not me. But I guess he thought I was. Then you have cases of mistaken identity. This dude looks like a female version of Mr. Bean. You know, I have been called Mr. Bean a few times. I'm, I've, I've always enjoyed that show, to be honest. So that never bothered me. Even in high school, I got called that a, a few times. It doesn't... That, that's completely fine, though. The female version. Female version of Mr. Bean. That is a new one. I've never, I've never seen that one before. What a classic 80s nerd. That's another new one. Because I always, you know, that's that's kind of, that's kind of on the ball, though not quite. Because again, on the subject of evolution, metamorphosis, change, changing, right? What I am is what the 80s nerd became in 10 years. The mid-90s accountant. That's what, that's what I, that's what I always go for. So close... Close, but no cigar. You know, he was on the point just off by a decade. And here we are. I think I cleared everything up. I hope I did, anyway. I, I tried my best. I tried to cover every single possible nickname and alias and positive identity, false identity, mistaken identity, and everything in between. I tried to clear everything I could up, and I hope, I hope that was satisfactory. I wanted to do everything that I could, possible, possibly, to clear up any possible confusion. Because now we're going to get serious, and that's kind of why I adopted the semi-disheveled look. You know, if you want to go with it, you got to loosen the tie a little bit, not too much. You know, you don't want to look like you just stepped out of the bar at, at 3 a.m. yet. Uh, but, you know, so you still got to keep it, you know... Somewhat presentable, but just just enough. Got to find that perfect balance. We're going to get serious. This is what you've all been waiting for. And, you know, all I can tell you at this point is prepare yourself. I've been trying to figure out how to deliver this. and I'm just going to say it out, right? So, if you're ready, physically, mentally. And if not, you know, take a break. Look, you do what you have to do. We're gonna go in. The name Review Bra came about in early 2013, uh, when my reviews were, were shared about and posted on bodybuilding forums, of all things. And I guess it was just because of the, uh, 
I don't know, the, the culture, the community uh, on these sites, everyone called each other bra. I don't know if this is done anymore, but at the time, you know, hey, bra, yeah, what's up, bra, the, you know, this bra, that bra, and uh, the members of, of these sites decided, okay, well, the guy that does the food reviews is review bra. And I remember at first, I kind of, I didn't really look at it as any sort of serious name at all. You know, as a matter of fact, I just, I adopted it initially tongue-in-cheek, because I, I personally found it ridiculous. I thought, you know, the juxtaposition of Review Bra compared to the actual channel is incredible. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, adopt it as a joke and that'll be that. Well, of course, it turns out that compare the name Review Bra to the Report of the Week. Which is going to stick with people better, you know? Which are people going to remember better, even if you don't try to promote that name to them? Review Bra. Before then, I remember, okay, the Report of the Week. What? The, 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 the Weekly? The, the Review of the Week? What? Could you say that again? It was such a long name. And, you know, even though it's based of simple words, it's easy to forget. I remember when I first started the channel, I was kind of forgetting it half the time. So, review bra, you know? It's it's kind of absurd, but it, it's easier to remember, easier to say, it kind of has this little bit of a catchiness to it. And that's why it was adopted, I think, by the public at large. You compare review bra to the report of the week, and one of those is exponentially easier to remember than the other. And, you know, from 2013 on, I've completely adopted it. Uh, you know, I always, I can't help but look at it lightheartedly and, you know, just, just see it kind of as, a, you know, almost as just a joking type of, of thing. Uh, but I've adopted it, and I'm fine with that. And, you know, every time I see that name, it, it brings me back to the, to the days back in probably late 2013 when I was doing the bodybuilding craze. I used to be hitting the gym, I'd say, 15 to 25 hours a day. You can see right there, those were the results that I got. And sometimes I'll look back and I'll, I'll think about those days. And, you know, I'll look right now and I'll say, you know what? You still got it. Incredible, isn't it? How just that one thing can possess such, such a journey. That's the only way to put it, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen, everyone watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, also known as Review Bra, Baby Bra, Review Bra, Review Bleu, uh, the, the, the pencil-necked piece of, you know, whatever, and everything in between. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I wanted to take a look at a, a serious topic and just try to break it down for you. Have a bit of fun with it too at the same at the same time it's something that i've been asked so many times and as a matter of fact this video was actually a viewer request i had a lot of people that were coming up to me and saying could you can you make a video explaining uh review bra and i decided to go for it if there is a place where you can get your opinion heard have that direct means of communication be able to support this channel as well as the podcast and the radio show where I got this from was Patreon. My Patreon page is patreon.com slash the report of the week. That's patreon.com slash the report of the week. It's a great way to help keep this channel, this podcast, the radio show going. Airtime is expensive. There's no other way to, to put it, you know? That's the honest truth. And I was thinking about cutting back on a lot of the shortwave broadcasts. I was thinking, you know, who even, who even listens to it anymore? But I sent out some surveys the other day, and I was amazed at the results that came in. Lots of people still tune in, probably tens of thousands, if not more, across the world. And a lot of these people that, that wrote in, they don't have internet access. They don't even have a computer. And a lot of people that were saying, my internet is just so bad at this point, I still have to listen to the radio. Or, you know, I'm using a computer at the public library. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a way that reaches a lot of listeners, even today that just don't have the fast streaming abilities or the smartphones or the good internet that you and I have. And there's many people out there that this show is able to reach still. And it's your support that keeps it going. You know, as I said, airtime might be expensive,
But in my opinion, it's worth every single dollar that's sent forth for those costs. Recently, thanks to your support, I've just concluded a broadcast to Northern Africa, and, uh, you know, hoping that everything goes well with that endeavor. So with that, please consider supporting. If you don't want to use Patreon, I understand, you know, it's all up to you. You could also donate via PayPal to v-o-r-w-i-n-f-o at gmail.com. With that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in a few days with another video. Take care.